Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two blue congruent uh, rectangles uh, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green uh, shaded uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD. And the area of this uh, green shaded quadrilateral uh, has been given to us as uh, 36 uh, square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of both of these uh, rectangles, this rectangle and this rectangle uh, combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle uh, DEPA. I'm going to label uh, this uh, width of this rectangle as uh, W and the length uh, of this uh, blue rectangle as uh, L. And now let's focus on this uh, other blue rectangle EFCB. And since uh, both of these blue rectangles are uh, congruent, so therefore uh, this side length of BC is going to be W and this uh, length uh, of this rectangle is going to be L uh, as well. And since we are interested in calculating the area of these uh, rectangles, and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length uh, times width. So therefore, uh, the area of this uh, blue rectangle DEPA is going to be equal to area, I'm going to represent it by A is going to be length uh, is uh, L and width is W. So that is going to give us uh, L times W. And since uh, both of these uh, rectangles are congruent, so therefore the area of this uh, blue rectangle uh, EFCB is going to be A equals to L times W as well. So therefore the combined uh, area of both of these rectangles is going to be LW plus LW. Let me just write down uh, L W plus L W. If we add them, that is going to give us uh, 2 times L times W. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, L times W. And here's our next step. Now we are going to think outside the box to make our job simpler. So therefore, we are going to connect uh, these points uh, B and D. As you can see in this uh, next step, and we are ended up with these uh, two triangles, this triangle uh, and uh, this uh, other uh, triangle uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADB. Let's assume the area of this uh, triangle is uppercase uh, A. And we know the total green area is uh, 36. So therefore, the remaining area for this uh, other triangle uh, BCD is going to be 36 uh, minus uh, uppercase A. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADB. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. So therefore for this uh, triangle uh, ADB, this uh, is going to be the base uh, of this triangle and this uh, side uh, DE is going to be the height uh, of this uh, triangle. And we know the area of this triangle uh, is uh, uppercase A. So therefore we are going to fill in the blanks in this formula. So the area A is going to be equal to a half uh, times our base is W and our height is uh, L. So therefore, if we simplify, A turns out to be L times W divided by 2. And now I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 1. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other triangle, B, C, D. And now let's make an observation. We can see the base uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, this uh, side. And the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is this uh, CF length. And the area of this uh, triangle is 36 minus A. So therefore, we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, area of a triangle formula once again. So our area in this case is uh, 36 minus uh, A equals to 
a half times our base is W times our height is L. Let's go ahead and simplify. We are going to get 36 minus A is going to be equal to L times W divided by 2. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. And here we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And now we are going to add uh, both of these equations. And if we add these uh, both equations, we can see this A and negative A, they are uh, gone. If we add on the left hand side, that is going to give us uh, 36 equal to LW divided by 2 plus uh, LW divided by 2. If we add them, that is going to give us uh, simply L times W. So therefore we conclude that our L times W value turns out to be 36. And here's our final step. Let's recall once again this uh, equation. The area of both of these blue rectangle has been given to us as uh, 2 times uh, LW. And we already figured out our L times W value as 36. So I'm going to substitute that value 36 uh, over here. So therefore, uh, we are going to get 2 times uh, 36 uh, and that is going to give us uh, 72 square units. So thus the area of both of these uh, blue rectangles uh, turns out to be 72 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.